Jeremy Strong here at another successful project from Cabinets Extraordinaire and CabEx Construction here in Sarasota, Florida. We're in Laurel Oaks in another beautiful home that we've just completed recently. This kitchen here you're looking at is an Elmwood kitchen. We've got a bicolor kitchen using Elmwood's new 3D textured foam melamines, as well as their high gloss white diamond gloss paint on the flat face cabinets throughout the rest of the area. This kitchen has all the bells and whistles from your dividers above your oven for all your sheet pans, cutting boards, serving platters, your rollout shelves and the pantries for easy access to all that's inside the unit. Drawer systems underneath the oven for all of your sheet pans as well. On this side of the island, you'll notice we've got a wine cooler. This is a U-line model with the glass door. We had a frame made by Elmwood to match the cabinetry to give it an integrated appearance. We also utilize the Sub-Zero integrated refrigerator, the refrigeration system on top and the refrigerator freezer drawers on the bottom there. The countertops you see in this kitchen are a combination of a brown silk quartzite, which you see on the island as well as the cooktop area, along with a man-made quartz product that we utilize for the seating area. Some of the complications we had in this kitchen were regarding these two areas left and right. We had large open cavities above the existing Sub-Zero refrigerator that was here previously that matched the arches throughout the home that we wanted to block off and get rid of as we wanted to modernize the space inside of this area. Pretty interesting in this kitchen are the hidden drawers, like this silverware drawer that you find behind the larger drawer fronts. Each cabinet has the deeper drawers Side cabinets left and right of the cooktop have the two top drawers. On the seating area, we utilized a man-made quartz product. We had the countertop doubled over to give the illusion of a much thicker, more substantial piece instead of the typical three centimeter top that you see in most kitchens. The island design was actually a very difficult design here due to the odd angles of the kitchen that we are now standing in. It left a, an awkward space to overcome. In order to pull it off, the client and I, who herself is a designer here locally, collaborated on this island. In the end, the island actually turns out to be in the shape of almost a baseball diamond. Turns out it's very much the shape of a home plate looking at it from certain directions. Ultimately, in the end, this project came out striking, very clean, pristine, exactly what the client was looking for.